When looking at a common or even uncommon thing, do you ever wonder how it's made? Is it handmade or factory made? In today's episode, we're going to explore the world of industrial equipment used for making different things. Have you ever wondered how glass bottles are made? They are manufactured in huge numbers, so even an army of glass blowers would blow that task. Fortunately, special machines were designed a long time ago that can make glass bottles 24-7. And this is how graphic patterns are transferred to bottles. And this one is a really special machine that can chew and swallow literally anything, from a small piece of wood to giant pieces of machinery. At first glance it seems like a bad idea, but as you can see, nothing is impossible for these shredders. You can find a lot of videos on YouTube where people throw all kinds of stuff between the teeth of these machines. I guess someone got really sick of packing nails, so that was how this machine was created. Without this magnet-driven device, the process of packing nails would take a very long time. And here's how wood panels are made. Mind-blowing, isn't it? First of all, a special machine cuts the wood, then its surface gets grinded and covered with a protective layer. And the most impressive thing is how easily this saw cuts the wood and how good the color of the wood is. Some people still use axes and their physical strength to split firewood, while others rely on a special machine. There are different kinds of them, by the way. People come up with all kinds of crazy machines just to make their lives a bit easier. Obviously, no one can manually bend metal parts with industrial precision. And no one has to, because there's also a reliable machine tool for that. However, there are also semi-automatic machines that still need the operator's assistance. And it's astonishing how quickly the workers react to what the machine does. I think everyone has tried digging the ground with a shovel at least once. Not the easiest and most entertaining thing to do, to be honest. So this is what this tool was invented for. Already wanna try it? Making sharp metal tips on a wholesale scale is not that difficult, but only if you have this machine. It can sharpen metal rods for long, long hours without a break. Thank you. 
I wonder how factories had been making forks before this piece of machinery was invented. Maybe you know. Leave your versions in the comments. Let's see what you can come up with. Metal wire meshes are really in demand these days, but they are so hard to make you might think. In fact, such meshes are made using special machines that tangle the wire in fascinating patterns. If you think something like that can be made only manually, you're probably wrong. The process is completely automated. You just need to run a certain program on the machine and it's done. Bet you never thought that parts like these are made this way. When I first saw this image, I thought this was really a cake that precisely imitates metal rods, and the guy was going to cut it. But I was wrong. The rods are actually metal, and the guy demonstrates how hard his knife is. First he hits the rods with the blade, and then shows that the blade remains intact. When you buy a new knife, you probably like how its blade is all smooth and glossy. You can even see your reflection in some of them, just like in a mirror. But over time, the blade gets scratched and loses its gloss. But now you can easily solve this problem using this polishing tool. Look how quickly the blade becomes shiny again. A working shift behind this machine can drive you nuts. Well, at least this guy doesn't have problems falling asleep when he comes home from work. I'm sure you never thought you could tighten your nuts like that. It would have taken this guy so much more time if he was using a wrench. Look at how breathtaking this process is. Just as if hundreds of fireflies were chasing each other and then spiraling down the tape. It just blows my mind. It doesn't even look like a part of an industrial process at all. Few people know how seats for buses or stadiums are made. It's worth having a look. And this is how you get a finished product out of a piece of hot metal. I don't think I know what it really is, but I can watch it for hours. It's just fascinating. And this is probably the quickest way to cut a thread on a bolt. You just need to feed the bolt blanks to the machine. It's scary to think how powerful this machine is that crushes hot metal so easily. And now you know how brushes are made. And this is the process of making chopsticks. After the wooden sticks are cut, they need to be sharpened using this machine. And this complex piece of machinery is used for bending glass. So which of the processes surprised you most? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments and hit that like button under the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.